If this doesn't scream five-star cooking, you must be spoiled. Now why smoke a brisket or pork when you can have this mystery meat? Do you want to learn how to turn this mystery meat into this smoked slab of sandwich goodness? Let's get into it. Today we are smoking a chicken flavoured luncheon meat. Now cooking time for this recipe is one and a half hours. Or for those of you who love to use my beer timer, you're looking at a three beer cook. Cheers. To make this recipe, we're going to need some Devon, also known as Poloni, Fritz, Bologna, plain old sandwich meat, or it's also affectionately known here in Australia as a roll of lips and assholes. So I called Mick up at Gippsland Premium Meats and asked if he had any. The line went dead and I didn't get an answer. So off to the local supermarket I went and I found this glorious one kilogram tube of mystery meat. Now it does state that it does include meat and some of that's pork. Roughly around 68% of this is actually meat. That makes me think the other 32% is cardboard. Now it does state that it contains absolutely no colors or flavors. Yeah, right. Oh, and it's gluten free. Woo! Lucky for that. At the time of filming this video, this roll of chicken flavored luncheon meat only cost $4.30. That's about $8 too much. If you give this video the thumbs up, it lets me know that you like it. Now to prep this lunch on meat, all we need to do is remove this outer coating or skin. Easy enough to do, you just need a sharp knife like this sexy hammer stool boning knife. Just slicing off the ends, both of them making a little nick and then just peeling off the outer layer to reveal this highly marbled meat underneath. Now just look at that in all of its glory. And using the same sharp knife, we can make score marks around the outside of the carcass. And then once we've made the score marks all the way around, we can angle the knife and go around the other way, making a crisscross pattern. And doing this crisscross pattern around the outside serves no other purpose than to tricking people that this is a more expensive cut of meat once we smoke it. Now this next part is optional. You could smoke this in a barbecue as it is on the racks, but I want to smoke it on a rotisserie setup. So grab a rotisserie rod and put a Euros disc on it, sizing it up to where you need it and then tighten it up. And I'm using the Euros discs instead of the spikes because the spikes are too wide, it will not hold that meat in place. And the last thing anyone wants is their rod sliding around once it's in a piece of meat. Smart! Now carefully insert the rod into one end of the mystery meat, pushing it all the way through, and cap this off with the other Euros disc, making sure to tighten that up. And we are now ready for seasoning. If you got this far, you may as well share the video with your friends. Now, although we are cooking such a high quality piece of meat today, and we don't want to mask any of those delicate flavors, I'm going to use a binder today. Good old American yellow mustard. Now, this is a task I recommend gloving up for and put a healthy amount on and smear that all over the outside. Really work it in like no one's watching. And then we can hit it with a rub. And today I'm using Four Monkeys Chicken Rub. And purely because this mystery meat is supposedly chicken flavored. Now I like to apply any rub around 30 centimeters above the meat. This just allows all of those rub particles to separate before it hits. Therefore, giving us a more even taste and coverage. And now that the log of mystery is seasoned, we can get the barbecue ready. For those that don't know, Four Monkeys Chicken Rub was just crowned the best chicken rub in Australia, made by Dan Barrett of Big Smoke Barbecue. Now, if you can't find this rub, by all means, ruin the whole recipe and use another one. Today, I'm using a 57 centimeter Weber kettle and I'm pairing it up with one charcoal basket and the rotisserie attachment because I want to be smoking at high temps of 150 degrees Celsius today. And how I'll do that is by filling up one charcoal basket with unlit briquettes so I know exactly 
how much fuel to use. And then I'll dump that unlit fuel into the chimney starter. Then I'll light up a couple of fire lighters and place the chimney on top. Once the fuel's all ashed over, I'll place the charcoal basket to one side of the charcoal grate and dump the lit fuel into it. And don't forget to add a drip pan for anything that might drip down. Then carefully put the grill back in place and then remove it, remembering we don't need it for this cook. And carefully add the rotisserie ring and then add the meat of glorious splendor on a rod of spinning excellence. And grab one chunk of cherry wood and place it directly on the lit charcoal. Turn on the rotisserie by pressing a button to get it spinning. And then pop the lid on, making sure all the vents are wide open. And remember to keep that lid vent on the opposite side of our fuel. This will just ensure that the heat and smoke is drawn over our log of mystery during the cook. Now set a timer for one hour and 15 minutes. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you like cooking mystery meat, even though this mysterious log of anything sounds delicious as it is, I feel it needs more depth to mask, I mean enhance, the natural flavours of this log meat. So into a small pot you want to put a quarter of a cup of your favourite barbecue sauce. And I'm using this Heavenly Hell Hallelujah Hustle sauce. Because it's yummy. And two tablespoons of honey to give it a real sweet bang. And 50 grams of unsalted butter because I said so. Now open the lid and we're going to pop this down in the drip pan to warm up until we need it later. Heavenly Hell makes some of the best rubs and sauces I've ever tasted. But if you want to ruin this mystery meat of goodness, by all means, use whatever barbecue sauce you can find. The meat of mystery has been smoking for an hour and 15 minutes. The outside has some great colour and it's time to start glazing it with our sauce. Just slather it on, cover it in the sauce. The more sauce you use, the less lips and arseholes you have to taste. Nice. Once you have masked the meat with enough flavour, put the lid back on, making sure that lid vent is on the opposite side of our fuel again and set a timer for 15 minutes. If you made it this far, you need to leave me a comment and let me know why you actually watched it. Time's up, we can get the rotisserie out of the Weber. Now just sliding the log of mystery off the rod and then using a large sharp knife like my hammer stool 14 inch ham and brisket slicer you can start slicing into it and you can cut this as thick or thin as you like. Just don't feed it to young children, the elderly, sick, pets, or anyone with a stomach. Now, if you're smoking this for a meal for family and friends, now that, sh <laughs> that should be illegal. Mmm, it is actually pretty good.